2016 here in Chile. We had the great opportunity to launch a very exciting new concept, uh, Combifos 7. Uh, Combifos is a combined set of analyzers, uh, flow cytometry and FGIR for compositional analysis, the flow cytometry for somatic cell counting. Some of the exciting things about that is we have a new parameter, uh, differential somatic cell, which is a unique uh, opportunity for improving uh, status management around the globe. Today the, uh, the new equipment that FOSS is uh, launching at uh, this event is very exciting because uh, with the new, uh, the, the added feature of differential cell count, it holds the promise of bringing even more value to the uh, testing of milk sample. Uh, if we go back 40 years with the introduction of somatic cell count, in combination with dry cow therapy, we've done tremendous advancement in the area of other health and milk quality. Uh, and the new feature of the differential somatic cell count, I think, holds a promise of uh, bringing even more uh, accuracy and effectiveness for those tools to the farmer with the uh, with help with providing the farmer a tool for more judicious, judicious use of uh, antibiotics, for example, by having a better evaluation of the other health status of his cows. Combifos 7 comes, of course, from uh, the seventh generation. Uh, FOSS uh, launched the very first Combifos back in the early 80s, and uh, we have renewed our product uh, during all these uh, decades and this is the seventh generation. The elements I find most important about the new instrument is that we're going to have a long life from it. Um, that means we can uh, utilize the instrument for, for its full potential. Uh, and we like the diamond cuvette, that gives us 10 years of um, guarantee with it, which again is, is, is good in terms of using the instrument for a long time. Um, I particularly like the modular approach to where the access to the instrument uh, will allow our engineers easy access to the to the main components for servicing and repairs so uh, it looks a nice instrument yes the networking aspect is is quite a uh, an attractive proposition for us it will enable us to view the performance of the instruments from uh, different areas of the business so our quality team who's based in their Glasgow lab will be able to look at the performance of our instruments in our Wolverhampton lab our engineer who's based at Wolverhampton will be able to look at the performance of the instruments in the Glasgow lab. So it will uh, provide a, a quite a nice platform for, for monitoring and standardising the equipment throughout the business. It's the up-to-date equipment. We've worked with FOSS for a long time. We know the equipment is going to be accurate and reliable. And uh, we really just look forward to utilising it on a daily basis. The beautiful thing about the Compiforce 7 is that we now are able to analyze up to 19 parameters in just 6 seconds. So that's quite impressive. from a milk payment standpoint, testing the bulk tank, or uh, testing individual cows in the milk recording scheme, uh, is very much a value-added business because there's more and more options for producers to get information. It's all about providing a service to our dairy farmers, and if a farmer is milking his cows to make money, then he really needs to know how they're performing. We provide him with the data of how his cows are performing individually, and he is then able to make decisions on the farm, whether he breeds from those cows, whether he feeds them differently, and it all adds up to how much milk, how much money is he getting for his milk. And we're all in, in business together. And with our new technologies, we are keen to extract as much information as possible from these milk samples.
The infrastructure is more or less there. We have the samples available. Then FOSS comes in with new technology. And that all helps in order to, to extract more information from these samples, which eventually will lead to more data, more information for the farmers that help them to improve their herd management and eventually the, the health of their animals. Several decades of mastitis management and prevention programs Mastitis is still the most costly disease in milk production worldwide. The losses can be accumulated to 35 billion US dollars per year. 35 billion, that's a tremendously high figure and it emphasizes how much money farmers and dairy industry is losing due to this disease.